<clears throat> no, it wasn't me. Not guilty. Beg your pardon. You, you're the one. I assure you, we've never met. Is this a prize fighting me? You bet your eyes and ears it is, my lord. My lady. The name's Robert Topping. Best bookie in all of London, at your disposal. Well, second best, but my mum says Don's a bit of a ninkum poop. Anyhow, I can show you a vast array of exciting things. From prize fights to carriage races. I think we can afford to spend a little time here.
a spectacular fight, my lady. My friends. I've been looking for you. You may have not found a piece of Eden, but this material is invaluable. Look. It says the London assassins had found a shroud. The shroud of Eden is supposed to heal even the gravest injury. If the assassins had found something like this, surely Father would have known. There must be something we're missing. Something only we can see. These look like directions. Are you coming? Fieldwork is not really my speciality. We found a clue to a precursor object. Don't you want to follow it? Put that way, one can hardly refuse. records say that's not true. I've never heard of one being in London, though. Do you really think Edward Kenway could have found one? He traveled extensively, so it's possible. 
But if he did, he kept it a closely guarded secret. Here now. Slowly now. I think this is it. I think you're right. Look. I'll be in the study. I don't want to be interrupted unless you have news of the lost notebook. That makes getting in a challenge. You still intend to enter? If this is a Templar stronghold, it won't get any easier. But don't worry. We'll stay well away from Miss Lucy. Shall we? Can you check over there? Of course.
What are we looking for? I'm not quite sure. What are the Templars not seeing? Something only we can. Subtle, is it? Clearly, Kenway had a strong sense of spectacle. This is incredible. Music. There was no opening there before. It's closing! Yes, I can see that. Help me block it. We need to find another way out. You two, get Henrietta. Try to find if there's another exit. An entire vault, filled with assassin history, left behind once again. We'll just have to reclaim this one later, or find a better cachet. We? I thought you preferred to stay out of field work.
How nice to see you again, Mr. Dickens. Is it time for another of the Ghost Club stories? As a matter of fact, yes. Follow me. Number 50, Barclay Square. Four stories high and branded, Beware All Those Who Enter. There have been many strange tales of this dreadful domicile. The earliest report of a haunting was said to be the spectre of a small girl. She could be seen at the attic windows, weeping and wringing her little hands in an agony of despair. You're not afraid, are you? Another legend claims the attic is haunted by the spirit of a young woman who completely free herself from the top floor windows to escape her abusive uncle. Her screaming ghost has reportedly been sighted hanging from the window ledge. This residence was briefly owned by a Mr. James Jasper, a choir master and an opium addict. His nephew, Edward, was betrothed to one of Mr. Jasper's pupils, the fair and delicate Rose. However, Edward disappeared under mysterious circumstances, followed by Jasper himself. Perhaps grief sent him back to the soothing arms of his narcotic mistress. Slowly. Go on. Shall we? Though this house is vacant, some say it comes alive at night with screams of terror, ringing bells, and slamming shutters. Although eerie, this phenomenon is easily produced by pneumatic tubes and valves. There are claims that a young man was caged in the attic his only connection to the rest of the world, a tiny hole in the door. A young man who was reduced to madness by this extreme isolation. The legends all seem to focus on one room in particular. more. <laughs> My word, perhaps, perhaps I shall wait here while you investigate the source of that laughter, which is not at all unsettling. Now tell me, why were you at that house?
I've found a lock, but I haven't located the key. It's here. So this is how it works. Impressive. Love for Rosa came near to equaling mine. It should have been enough to keep my beloved nephew away. My poor Ned. Forgive. Alas, the myth has been discredited. There was no ghost in Barclay Square, just a wretched soul driven to murder and madness by guilt and intoxication. I think this is the makings of a rather fine novel. I wonder if I've got one left in me. Uh. 